Hi guys, so I wanted to do a video about my Amazon haul. So these are the latest and greatest that I've bought from Amazon. We have these bad boys, chock full of electrolytes. These are the light versions, which means they contain no sugar. Where are you? Where are you? Sugar, sugar, sugar. Bam! One gram. Alright, so they do contain some sugar, but not much, considering. And they've got all this fun crap in there. Really good to get your electrolytes back in. I've been going to physical therapy for my knees, even though everything on me is broken. But, you know, the knees are more important because that the only way I can get my heart rate up to do the graded exercise program is, um, you know, you gotta actually like move your body, which you can't really do when you're laying down wobbling. So, um, bam. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so I noticed the difference, you know, how we can't really exercise because our hearts get all nuts every time we step on the machine. Well, <clears throat> first day I did not take this. No, first day I did take this. And I was okay. Right before. I mean, even if you're just going to the bathroom and pissing all your electrolytes out, down as many electrolytes as you can before you work out or sweat at all. Just, you know, these are fantastic. And they're sugar-free, so they're good for me. Sugar, low sugar. <clears throat> anyway, so... I didn't even finish my thought. So the first time I went, I did not take these. No, first time I went, I took these. And it was... Alright, I didn't have too many problems with my heart. Um, next day I went, I just drank water before. Big mistake. My heart was like, Bleh. I felt like throwing up. I didn't, I haven't told a physical therapist anything about what's wrong with me, you know, because I don't feel like telling everybody my life story and having everybody stare at me and be like, well, what's wrong with you mentally, you know? So, um, I just kind of dealt with it seven minutes on a bike, getting nauseous as hell. And, uh, basically just kind of like, you know, burped up, throw up a little bit in my mouth while I was leaving. But, um, not going to do that today. Going to take these bad boys again. Actually, let me take one out so I can remember. This is what they look like. Four to six ounces of water. You know, just a cup of water is fine. I mean, you could put it in as much water as you want. It just loses the flavor. It just tastes like nothing. So they're pretty good. Pretty light. This. ba dum bum Black seed oil blend with pumpkin seed oil. These are really good for fatty acids. I think they even say that on there somewhere. No, they do not. Did I make that up? No, here, they said it right here. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Somewhere up there. Anyway, um, this tastes disgusting. Battery acid. Anyway, I do a tablespoon of that a day. I have not noticed a difference. No. For me, no. Um, mind you, I take these. These do everything for me. So I think if I wasn't taking these, I'd probably feel more of a difference with that. Um, you know, it's still pretty new. I think I'm on day three with those, with the liquid. So maybe something will happen. But so far it has not. And uh, these do the trick for me. So, you know, you guys know how I love these things. <laughs> I just stocked up again. Again, here's all the goodness those have in them. Okay. That is the end of my Amazon haul. Now on to life update slash doctor update. So my Lyme doctor decided, you know, she was done with me. <laughs> so I guess we broke up. She basically said, you know, there's not much more else she can do because there's no active Lyme anymore. And um, I don't think there was even when I went there. But 
um, you know, it's just, it's been like 15 years, so I, oh no, I got bit when I was six, I guess it's a lot longer than 15 years, but I got tired 15 years ago, so either way, she definitely helped me with ADH, the hormone, but now I need something else because I still want to get better, I'm not done. I'm going to keep going until they figure this out. So I've been doing a lot of research, and I found a doctor that works with Valcite. Now, it doesn't work for everybody. It's an antiviral, but I've been going through my blood work. <laughs> and, um, boom, boom, boom. This is just, you know, one day's worth of blood work, I think. And I meet the criteria to be put on Valcite. The Epstein bar, my IgG is high. And yeah. But there's another one. Don't go anywhere. This is getting interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. Dun dun dun. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Herpes virus 6 IgG is also high. They found that 50% of patients that have both of these IgG high get better with Valcite, have some sort of luck being on Valcite, the antiviral. Um, you know, again, they have all these studies and then they say, oh, this works for everybody, and then they say, oh, we did the study again, nothing was the same, nobody's getting better. You know, um, but I've never tried Valcite, so I'm willing to try it. So, I found a doctor in California that works with Valcite for chronic fatigue patients, and he has a six-month wait list. Now, I, in six months, I can quit my job, move to Thailand, and try Valcite myself, right? Not that I'm recommending that, but that's something I would do because I'm insane. And so, luckily, fortunately... I found a doctor in Michigan, and he has a three-week wait. So I'm going to schedule a plane ticket. I've already booked my going to book a flight. I've already scheduled my appointment, and we'll see. It's like two and a half more weeks away, and we'll see what he says. I think that's all I have. For today, I did want to tell you that they Quest has updated their app, their Android app, perhaps iPhone app. I don't know. I don't have an iPhone, so you can get all your goodies, all your blood work goodies sent to your phone, which I highly recommend because a lot of times I'm in the doctor's office and they're like, "Uh, you have this," and you have to go like searching through all of your blood work. Um, you know, I file through, file it with, uh, sticky notepads, sticky notes, and, you know, say, like, heart, head, whatever. But, um, this is easier because it just tells you what it is. Where the heck is it? There we go. It's called My Quest. Boom, boom, boom. I really just saw that. Okay, well they're having <laughs> having issues at this time. So, um what the heck? Come on guys, I'm trying to review you. Should we have to? Nope. We're sorry, we suck. We thought you thought we were cool, but Apparently we suck. It's the same crap as the Gazelle app. Um, I don't. 
maybe I'll review it later. It's it's nothing to write home about, but the Gazelle app I like because you could send a PDF of your blood work to yourself. You could send it to your doctor. It tells you when it comes in. It gives you a graph of normal and where you fall and. It's just so much easier than calling the doctor every time you want to be like, did my blood work come in? And then being like, we can't discuss this. You have to book a $600 appointment with us. And, um, you know, and then you need a fax machine for them to send your blood work to. And, like, who the hell has a fax machine at their house, you know? Like, unless you're a business, you're, you're just like, yeah, can you send it to my email? And they're like, no. So... The app is just better because you can say, look, I have my blood work done on this day. You don't even have to call anybody. You just say, I have my blood work done on this day. Quest, blah, blah, blah. This is the doctor that recommended it. Referred it. Described it. You know what I mean. And then they send it to you and you're like, oh, I got my results. You can read them. You can Google them. You can figure them out yourself. You can send it to your doctor if your doctor didn't get the results. And uh, it all comes in a PDF. And what I do is I save it to my Google Drive. So I have a list of the doctors and the blood work and whatever. And uh, that way, if I do want to print it, it's all in my Google Drive. All right. So that's pretty much all I have for today. Uh, yeah. So I'll keep making videos, maybe. Um, PT is good, by the way. Yeah, physical therapy is really good. When I first got sick, I got arthritis in my knees. And they told me there was nothing they could do, but apparently there is. Like, there's lots of stuff they can do now. So I've been doing the exercises, and it's really helping. My knees are a lot less painful. I'm hoping that I'll be able to go on the bike by myself or even just, like, jog on an elliptical by myself. I know a lot of, a lot of patients with chronic fatigue can't do that for me I can I just have to keep myself super well hydrated super hydrated let's just leave the well out of that yeah so um that's what I do I used to do and it helped a lot um even like being chronically cold that's a really big problem for me. Really, really big problem for me. It's like ruining my life. So, um, yeah, uh, moving your body around and getting your heart rate up is, is like such a huge help. The only problem is there's so many things that break when you move your body in certain ways. They tell you chronic fatigue is just fatigue. Or I guess, I guess they probably don't tell you that anymore. They told me that like 15 years ago, but it's not, um, it's not. And I learned the hard way and I exercised through it. I was like, let's do this. Let's, let's exercise this out. And that's not good because then I ended up with arthritis everywhere. Uh, and not like inflammation arthritis, like a different kind of arthritis. It's just kind of like cracks and pops and. I don't know, maybe that's copper deficiency, but just be careful and know your body. Don't listen to what they say. Just go at your own pace, check your body, but I do recommend exercise if you can do it. I do recommend it because if your body is not used to moving, you get more tired. So sounds ridiculous because you you know you're laying in bed but I will be laying in bed for an hour straight my body's like ready to go to sleep and I'm like we're gonna get up and take a walk and uh sometimes it actually gives me a lot more energy but just don't go crazy just learn your own body and uh but nothing walking is not the same as getting your heart rate up there's something about actually getting your heart rate up and sweating that is uh, that, that really powerful for me, for my chronic fatigue. I mean, it's like, even now, I feel like, what's up, world? You know, because I exercised yesterday, even though I thought I was going to die. I did it, you know. And it's a good thing they don't have heart rate monitors there, because they probably would have told me to stop. But um, it is not great for your heart, so I'm going to definitely take 
my little electrolytes today. My emergency light. Um, that's all I got.